I'm now going to start formatting the content that I've taken from the work I've done on my framework um, and that I've put into my open office document. I'm going to start formatting, formatting it so that it starts to look good. And this is where you're formatting it so it begins to take on the appearance of an actual ebook. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to format my title of my, um, my framework or my chapter. And this is exactly the same as you using Word. Now, I don't want you all to copy me word for word or format, format what I'm doing here. This is just for the purposes of this video tutorial. But I'm going to take my um, title, I'm going to center it, bold it, and I'm going to um, increase it, and I'm also going to italicize it. So I now have, um, I now have my uh, chapter of my actual book. What I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to start to add in some of the, um, the headings that I might use for my framework. Now please take note that um, the, actual, um, the actual content or the actual text that's in this um, is obviously just generic fake text. So I'm going to add a title to this one here. I'm going to call this my definition of creativity and imagination. And this one here I'm going to call um, my defining curriculum. And the third paragraph I am going to call, um, call this one role of the physical environment. So if I now save that, and I close it, and then I go to open that document again just to show you what it's looking like, you'll see that I have my title, I've got three headings, and I've got some text. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is start using some of those headings that you get in that when you use Word, and this will then uh, make sure that A, the document looks fantastic, and B, when you put a table of contents in, it really begins to work. So, my definition of creativity and imagination, I'm now going to give that um, some formatting. So I'm going to go up to um, my Apply Style tab, which is here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to give that Heading 1. I'm then going to go down to my Defining Curriculum, and I'm going to give that Heading 2. And then I'm going to go to my Role of the Physical Environment, and that will give my heading three. Okay, so if I now save that again, what this shows me now is that I've actually got some text in there with three different headings and a title. And that is the beginning of me um, beginning to format my actual document. The other thing I'm going to do as well now is this, this is the way I like my documents to appear. I'm going to actually highlight this text and I'm going to justify it. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the second paragraph. Justify, and the same with this one here, and Justify. And just because I want it to look a little bit different, and this is to show you formatting and not much else, I don't, I'm not really into um, huge amounts of color, but I'm going to change this one to a green, and then I'm going to save that document. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about some more formatting.